Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation section to learn all about our full width menu module. So the full width menu module is a fantastic way to add an extra menu on your page, particularly if you wanna put it in a place where uh, the built-in header and navigation section won't allow you to put it. So for instance, you might wanna create a custom heading and then put the full width menu underneath it. That is definitely possible with the full width menu module and we will show you exactly how to do that and how to style it using Divi's built-in design settings on this module in this video. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of Divi's full width menu module. The full width menu module lets you place a navigation menu anywhere on the page. It could be used to add a secondary menu down the page, or it could be used in conjunction with the blank page template option to move your main navigation down the page as well. Uh, so you can, can move your menu down below the first section to greet people with a large splash image, which offers a, a unique design for your web page. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at our full width menu module. So as you can see on my page right now, I am actually using a full width menu uh, to display my menu right underneath this uh, header section here. And in order to do that, the first thing uh, that you'll want to do is go to the back end uh, to edit your page, the default page editor here. And you'll notice uh, my full width menu is here, but uh, since I am using the full width menu and I want to use it as a primary menu, um, not a secondary menu, I'm going to go ahead and choose the template blank. What that does is takes away the header and footer of my page so that I can, you know, use this full width menu to replace the menu that would, the primary menu that would come in my header by default. So now that I have my template set to blank, when I go to edit my page in the visual builder, you can see that I don't have my header at the top that would normally come by default, but I only have my full width menu module here. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the options here. But to do that, I'm actually going to delete my full width menu uh, altogether and then we'll add it. So you can see how to do it from scratch. So I've deleted my full width section here. Now remember this is a full width menu module and for all full width modules, you need to use your full width section in order for those modules to show up as options. Uh, so I want to select full width menu here. Now um, I have my options that come up or my settings under the content tab. I have the menu I want to use. I only have one, so I'm gonna keep that one selected. But if you had others uh, and you wanted to just use one menu for this um, module, you can do that. Uh, I could set a background for my full width menu. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to, you know, a darker background. It's hard to see because I still need to customize my text there. And to do that, I'm going to go to my design tab under layout. I can choose uh, how I want my sub menus to open. By default, you can see my sub menu opens up underneath there downwards, but I could choose to make my sub menus open up upwards like that, which is a, a good option, especially when you're having a full width menu underneath your main header there. I could also make my menu links full width. So that means the, the container that's holding my links there will span the full width of my module there. All right. Um, my link section, I can change the text color from light to dark, which I do want to do. So now we can see it a lot better. Uh, we can change the active link color. Active link uh, represents the 
the uh, the actual page that you're on. So if I was on the about page, this about link would I could change it to show a different color to let me know that it is active. Um, drop down menu text color. Uh, right now it is set to white uh, as my default. Um, I would want to make it. Actually, I'm gonna leave it white, and then I'm gonna change my background color here in a little bit. Okay, moving on. I could customize my menu text. I could change my font style. I could also change the menu font size, which I will do. Let's bring it up to 22 pixels. I could change my menu text color. I'm going to leave it white for now. I could also change uh, the width if I wanted to. I could create more padding. Uh, or at margin if I needed it. Let's say I needed a custom padding uh, on top and below my navigation. Could... And moving on, I could also give this navigation menu a, an animation uh, whenever it's the, you know visible on the screen. And then also you can add this drop down menu animation as well. Uh, the default is fade, but you can change it to expand, slide, or whatever it is you need. Um, just to show you as an example, right here is that expand option. Or you can choose like a flip. All right. Now, one thing you may notice is a little odd is that we really would like this menu to be centered on the page. Um, so in order to do that, one way you could is to uh, go ahead and make our background, um, actually change our background. Let's go out of here, let's exit, save our options and go to our full width section. And we're going to add that same color background to there. And then we're going to go back to our full width menu module settings. And we're going to go to sizing here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the sizing. And then now once I make it, you know, to where I want it to be, this little module alignment option pops up and then I can select center. And then I can just kind of keep scrolling down till I get to where I want it. Because there's no telling, you know, how many uh, navigation items you have. It's going to be different for everyone. So if you want to center it, this is the way to do it. And don't forget, though, you need to make sure and use the background color of the full width section, not the module. Because if I go, uh, just so you know, if I go back to my full width section and I take out that background, you know, it's, it's only going to, because we decrease the width of our menu, um, we're going to see the white background of my uh, section. So make sure to add that in there. And the last tab here is my advanced setting. Let's go back to our full width menu here. Go to our advanced tab. And of course, we can add our unique CSS IDs and classes to target this module, this full width menu, uh, using an external style sheet if we want. We could also enter in some inline CSS to target any of the elements within the module here. And we also have the ability to disable uh, this module on any of our devices. Um, and that's it. There's your overview of the full width menu module.